Hi to all the mums out there. Um, my name is Narissa Manuel. Um, I'm married. I'm a mother of two. A beautiful daughter named Jade who will be 13 on the 1st of August. Yes, um, I'm pretty nervous about that because I'll be a mom of a teenager. And I have a handsome son. Uh, his name is Joshua and he will be 11 on the 2nd of August. So I was asked to share a little bit with you guys about raising two kids in the 21st century. Um, sure, it's not one of the easiest things, eh? especially not in the world that we're living in today. Um, we... Kids are exposed to drugs and alcohol and sex and all um, just weird things that they're not even supposed to know about at their age. Um, but yeah, uh, kids are, <laughs> sometimes I think that they know a little bit more than us as parents. Um, I have two beautiful kids. Um, my husband and I try to be the perfect parents, or we strive to be. Um, but as all of you know, it's not always easy when you're faced with challenges, um, which there is a lot of. Um, my daughter and I have a very open relationship where we can talk about anything. She can come to me if she needs advice. and. Um, I always try to be very open with my kids. I don't hide anything from them. And I believe that um, I want my kids to have that freedom and openness to come to me um, as well as their father if they need advice or anything. Um, yeah, my daughter will be 13 on the 1st of August. Um, Raising her, sure, raising a girl is really not one of the easiest things to do. Um, especially when, you know, they come into the teenager stage where it's boyfriends and all of that. Um, I always think about the day that my daughter became a young lady. I was so emotional. Um... I almost asked myself, God, why? <laughs> you know, because I always wanted her to stay my baby. Um, but she's growing into a beautiful young woman, um, an independent young woman, um, who knows right from wrong. Um, but she also knows that she has to put God first in everything she does. Um, the same with my son. He loves playing Xbox. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it at first. But you know what? My kids are quite content sitting indoors. <laughs> as long as there's internet and as long as my son has his Wi-Fi, my kids are quite happy. Um, uh, I'd like to think that I've raised two independent young people um, and they're growing up to be beautiful adults responsible for the young age that they are at the moment um, they're very independent um, here and I can just thank God because without him I would not have been able to raise the two beautiful young adults that I am busy raising um, I always tell them, you know, I always strive to give them the best and, you know, just for God to keep them and protect them because as much as us as parents would like to be with our kids 24 hours, we all know that's not possible. But if we entrust them into God's hands... Um, and if we just let him do the work for us as parents and if we follow in his footsteps and if um, 
we allow him to guide us then things will go much smoothly it's not easy raising kids in today's day and age um, but I want to encourage all you moms out there um, stay strong whenever you face difficulties with your kids problems pray and ask God to give you as a parent guidance because in the world that we're living in today we cannot raise our kids without God without God guiding us um, I mean my kids follow in my husband and I's footsteps they read their Bible we go to church on a Sunday and they are very involved in church which I am also very grateful for so um, being a mom in the 21st century is for me very exciting because I can relate to my kids on their level and I learn so much from them as well because they are their own people at the end of the day they are their own individuals at the end of the day um, so you know you get a lot of advice and stuff from the internet and family and whatever but God is the ultimate life coach um, so that's all I'm doing uh, if I face a challenge with my daughter or my son um, I just pray to God and I ask him to show me the way to guide them so I'm not a person of many words and I also don't want to take too much of your time so I want to thank you I want to say thank you to Simone for the opportunity um, yeah and I just want to bless each and every one of you out there and remember to always pray for your kids pray 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 as mothers praying for our kids is very important uh, thank you for the opportunity and goodbye <laughs>